Hey guys, new intro for this week. I know you guys are so excited to get into the video, but I have to stop you really quick. We are at one year here on YouTube, so thank you guys very much for getting us to one year on YouTube. We're looking forward to many years in the future. Uh, we are going to do a one week full of giveaways. We have two $50 giveaways. We have a mini helmet signed by Chris Johnson. We have a World Series replica ring, and we have a bobblehead giveaway that we're going to do. So five days of giving. And we're all we're going to give all of those away on our Friday live show. So to get into those live drawings, you have to comment down below Bear Pack on any of our videos Monday through Friday, and we will get you in that wheel. We're going to spin the wheel five times. We're going to give away all five gifts. So thank you guys for all the support that you've given us over the year. So thank you guys so much. We're looking forward to the future. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, let's get into some NFL picks and props for Thursday, October 19th, slate of games. Let's take a look at that leaderboard, Trey. Start us off. Yeah, and I am 0-1 on the game picks on Monday Night Football, and it was tough for me because I gave out the over 50.5 total points in the Cowboys versus Chargers game. There's a ton of points left on the board or a baseball term. There was a lot of runners left on base, and it was tough to watch. So, Yeah, I just went with the Cowboys money line in that game, yeah. and it was it was sweaty. I tell you, it was sweaty, yeah. but it hit. <clears throat> Best team won. You know what? I'm back. My record's horrible, but I'm back. When Dallas wins, I win. I just feel better. Time flies. I feel feels like I just got punched in the face with happiness. So I'm very glad that the Dallas Cowboys didn't disappoint again, and they took the they took the win on the money line. But I did go one zero. Let's take a look at the Thursday night game. It's going to be Amazon Prime game. The New Orleans Saints at home will be minus one and a half. The over under is forty, going up against the Jaguars. Trail, how do you start? Yeah, this one's going to be an interesting one to watch. But uh, give me the Saints here in this game. Though I'm going to take them on the money line here. The Jags are the better team, in my opinion, but they are knee-deep in injuries, and I think it's going to catch up to them here in this game because the Jaguars, they're already without two of their starting offensive linemen in Walker Little and Brandon Scherf and wide receiver Zay Jones, and obviously we've all heard about it, Trevor Lawrence. He has been limited all week, but we have to assume he's going to play, but his injury is a knee injury, and T-Law, he is pretty mobile, so I don't expect him to be as mobile as what he usually is in this game, and the entire Saints roster, if you look at their injury report, it's it's basically on there. And everybody's at least practicing in a limited fashion besides three people, Demario Davis and offensive tackles, Ryan Ramchek and James Hurst. So those are three big injuries, though. But Derek Carr, he has claimed he's fully healthy. And I think that that's all that matters. And we should have confidence with him in this play because we have to factor in just how deadly his playmakers are. He has Alvin Kamara, obviously, in the backfield and Chris Olave and Michael Thomas to just dish off passes to. So I really love the Saints here to be able to take advantage of this home game. And I think they're going to be able to put some points on the board, especially here, especially since this game's a pick em. So give me the Saints here on the money line here at home versus the Jaguars. Yeah, Trey, I like it, Seth. Yeah, and I took a similar approach a few weeks ago with a maybe not 100% Joe Burrow, and I went against him. I'm not going to do that again here. I'm going to take the Jaguars because I can get them at plus money. I'm going to take them on the money line. I know they're struggling with some injuries, but every indication is that Trevor Lawrence's MRI was fine and his knee has been fine all week. He's been limited, but from all indications, his knee is fine and he's going to be okay to play in this game. The Saints defense is good. I will give the Saints that, but I cannot trust this offense despite how many playmakers they have on this offense. I was super high on Derek Carr going into the beginning of the season, and he has all but let me let me down when it comes to that. I'm not super impressed with what that offense is doing. Jacksonville's defense has looked a lot better, and Jacksonville's actually picked up some good, good big wins here. They beat the Bills a couple weeks ago in London. I know basically Didn't London's help. their home field. but um, <laughs> what Time travel. Time game. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. But yes, um, so I, I do like the Jaguars a little bit more here in this game, as I think even if Trevor Lawrence isn't 1,000% healthy, I, I think he can still do enough in this game because I just don't trust the Saints offense to put up enough points here. Yeah, I, I don't disagree with you, Seth. I, I think this, the Jaguars are the better play, um, but in London, they stayed an extra week. The Bills got there late, so that, that was is true. That is that true. kind of, a, I mean, they're playing at home. So the Jaguars should just move to London because they're really bad at home anyway. But um, I don't like either of these teams. I think the Jaguars are frauds. I think the Saints are frauds. Neither team's that good. Uh, Trevor Lawrence, both of you guys said he's banged up a little bit with a knee injury, questionable coming in. Uh, so I really don't want to take a side. I'm going to take a total with the total. It's going to be a stat that comes with it. The New Orleans Saints in the last 12 games have hit the under in all 12 games. 
Derek Carr is horrible. And even when he, even when he does throw for nearly 400 yards like he did last week, uh, the Saints only put up 13 points in that game against the Texans. On the offensive side of the ball, they make way too many mistakes, and that's going to help with the under of 40 in this game. The Jaguars have been scoring more points lately, but that was against the Falcons and the, and the Colts twice. Uh, the Saints are coming in with a top 10 passing and rushing defense, so I don't think there's going to be a lot of points scored in this game, especially because it's a Thursday night game on Amazon, Amazon Prime. It's always ugly. Neither team scores a bunch of points here. I'm going to go with the under 40 and a half, going to buy the half point because uh, I don't want to push um, – Saints go 13 in a row on the under as my play. Guys, let's go over the player props. Trey, start us off. Yeah, I love the underplay there, but I gave out Micah Parsons over 0.75 sacks against the Chargers, and he came in clutch there at the end with a very late but clutch sack for me. I, I definitely needed it, so shout out Micah. It was a power move, too. I don't know if you saw it or not, Trey, but it was he was a beast. Uh, didn't didn't have his best game, but it, when, he, when we needed him, he came. He came through, but Seth? Yeah, I'm I'm legitly on the struggle bus right now, guys. Um, I took a running back against a defense that is terrible against the run. Yeah. And Tony Pollard did not get anything going on the ground. I don't know what it was. I don't know if it's the Cowboys line. I don't know what it is. But he should have absolutely dominated that Chargers front five, and it did not happen. That's on me. Yeah, that's a play calling problem, Seth. Um, I did have Keenan Allen. Over 10 targets going up against the Cowboys. He had 11. Herbert missed him a couple times on some deep shots. So if you had his receiving yards, I feel bad for you because he probably should have had 200 in the game. But we did catch with the over 10 targets. But let's take a look at our plays for tomorrow, boys. Trey, start us off. Yeah, and I'm going to go over to the passing props here. And I'm going to take Derek Carr to go over 236 and a half passing yards against the Jacksonville Jaguars. I really love this over for Carr. And this number is just too low, in my opinion. Even though Carr got off to a slow start, we saw what he could look like last week. And I think he's going to use this game and last week's game as a launching off point for the season and possibly the Saints season as well, because they came into the season as pretty much big favorites in the NFC South. And I expect Carr to back that up in this game. And that's because Jacksonville, they give up a ton of passing yards per game. In fact, the second most passing yards per game in the entire NFL with an average of 270 passing yards per game, which is way over this number. So I expect Carr to leave his impact in this game and just get his playmakers the ball because that's honestly what we need him to do just give the playmakers the ball and they could get a ton of yards after catch chris Olave and michael thomas they're going to be dogs for us on the perimeter and alvin kamara he's always just going to be there on the back end as well so i really expect Carter to have a great game here and, and that's because he enjoys playing against the jaguars in his career he's played against them three times so far and in those games he's averaging 242 passing yards per game which is over this number so give me Derek Carr to go over 236 and a half pass yards versus the Jaguars. Seth? Yeah, and I'm going to go to a receiving prop, and I'm going to take Christian Kirk to go over 49 and a half receiving, or it's up to 51 and a half now. I am going to tell you I was surprised it was set this low, but I do think it was because Trevor Lawrence carries the questionable tag into this game. So if you see this, when you see this video, go take this prop before it jumps up even more because I know once they say – Trevor Lawrence is a full go. That number is probably going to jump considerably. And that is because Christian Kirk has been Trevor Lawrence's favorite target this year, despite them bringing in Calvin Ridley. I know I was one of those people who was all for Ridley, all for Ridley. I think Christian Kirk went a little bit under the radar after having a really good season last year. All he's done is catch the ball. And he's already been targeted 26 times in the month of October. And he has hit this over in all but two games this season he is as reliable as they come you can put him in the slot you can put him outside I do know the Saints secondary is pretty good but the Jaguars have struggled to get a run game going so they've just relied heavily on the pass and I, I think when they do rely heavily on the pass Christian Kirk is Trevor Lawrence's go-to guy despite having Trevor or despite having Calvin Ridley. So I'm going to stick with the trend here, and I'm going to take Christian Kirk to go over 51 and a half uh, receiving yards. But like I said, you need to go get this before uh, Trevor Lawrence gets the okay to play because it is going to jump up. Yes, yeah, I like the play there. For my player prop, I'm going to take Alvin Kamara to go over 85 and a half rushing plus receiving yards. Since Kamara came back, the offense for the Saints hasn't looked much better, but they have been using him a ton. Over the first three games, he's recorded double-digit carries, and he's been targeted out of the backfield 25 times. That has led to 285 all-purpose yards, which if you break that down over the three games, it would be about 95 yards per game. If the Saints are going to score any points in this game, it's probably going to come from Alvin Kamara on the screen or running the ball. I expect him to get double-digit carries again in this game going up against the Jags, and he should be a reliable target out of the backfield as well as Derek Carr loves to check it down to him. 
Give me Alvin Kamara to go over 85 and a half rushing and receiving yards in this game. Let's take a look at that graphic before we get out of here, Trey. Or Seth, start us off. Yeah, Jags money line here for me. All indications is Lawrence is playing, so I do like the Jaguars here. And then I'm also going to take Christian Kirk. It's since changed to 51 and a half receiving yards, but I still love it there as he's he's by far Trevor Lawrence's favorite target. Trey? And I went with the Saints here on the money line against the Jaguars at home. I expect the Saints crowd to be going crazy, the Houdat Nation going wild there. And also gave out Derek Carr over 236 and a half pass yards versus the Jaguars. Jaguars give out the second most pass yards per game, and I think Carr will be a benefactor of that. Yep, and then I'm, I'm on the under 40 and a half, looking for 13 straight unders between Saints and their opponent. Then I have Alvin Kamara to go over 85 and a half rushing and receiving yards. But guys, that's going to do it. Our NFL plays and props for Thursday, October 19th, Slate of Games. If you guys enjoy the content, please be sure to drop a like in this video and subscribe to the channel below. We'll see you guys next video, and thanks for watching. Questions this morning about how to become a member for the YouTube channel. Let's do that really quick tutorial. You're going to go to youtube.com. You're going to go to Bears Profit Plays. You're going to search it in. You're going to hit our thing. There's a join button right just to the right of the subscribe. You're going to click that. There's two options. You have the Bear Pack for $4.99. That gives you access to YouTube member plays. And then you have the Bear Pack Gold for $7.99 a month. That gives you access to our member plays on YouTube. And it gives you a one-month membership to our website, bearsprofitplays.com. So if you get the Bear Pack Gold, you save yourself 2 bucks a month, a little bit cheaper if you want to do that. But that is the tutorial for anybody that needed it. We had multiple questions today through email about how to do it, and it wasn't working. But if you want to know, there it is right there, Trey. Just want to let everyone know that while we do give out free picks, plays, and predictions on our YouTube channel, we also have a website for you to check out. On our website, bearsprofitplays.com, you can subscribe to the website absolutely free with an email and gain access to our written articles about upcoming sporting events. If you're really looking to make some cash, we have an option to become a member of our website. If you become a member, you will gain access to our locks of the week, which are written articles that go in depth as to why we are picking that particular outcome. As of now, our member plays have been red hot, hitting over 60% of our plays. If you don't want to become a member, it's no sweat. We are here to try and make you guys some money. That's our main goal. So come on over to bearsprofitplays.com and subscribe for free. Check us out, follow our free picks, and see for yourself that our member plays are a great investment for you. Thanks for watching.